Hello friends, welcome to Connected. Once again, we meet here to meet a new guest and also to talk about a new topic. I am talking to you all the way from Santa Cruz, Bolivia in South America. Remind you that you don't only see us through the Abby Ayala channel, but also you can check us on YouTube, Facebook and Twitter. especially happy because this is the show number 24th which means it's been six months of connected on air and I cannot be more thankful that what I am everything that I've learned so far is just a complete game changer for me on my personal life also I want to thank you for watching us and for also just knowing that you are the biggest part of this show. Also, on this time, I have met so many beautiful people, talented, driven, beautiful human beings that are trying to help each other, trying to just give a better example or just make a change on this planet. So I wanna thank not only to the guests that I have so far, but through all the people that give me a little um, support uh, showing up on social media, to the people that write to my email. Seriously, it's a beautiful thing that happens and I am honored to be able to connect you with the world and then to connect the world with you. Thank you. And as we are in tone of celebration, today's topic will take us to a party experience. We will learn about the life of a Bolivian DJ who is holding high the name of the country in the electronic scene. We all know and have been to a party where we know the DJ is the one in charge of the music. But will that be it? We are going to discover it by talking to Diego Mendez, aka Cosmic Sound, who finds residing today in Goiania, Brazil. Do not go anywhere, stay connected, we'll be right back. Welcome back and for the ones that are just landing to the show, today we meet Diego Mendez, aka Cosmic Sound. He is a Bolivian DJ that is keeping high the name of Bolivia in the electronic scene out in the world. We are already connected with Diego, but before we are gonna get to know a little bit of his path so far, let's meet him. Born in La Paz, Bolivia, Diego Mendez, also known as Cosmic Sound, begins his story in the Psytrance scene in 2002, playing and assembling decorations at electronic parties and festivals in Bolivia. Since 2007, he has held several festivals with different artists, recognizing the scene invited from Brazil, Argentina, Chile and Peru. In 2014, he moved to the city of Santa Cruz and creates his own record label, Huayhu Records, with which he made two of the largest festivals of Santa Cruz, Brana Festival and Yin Yang Festival. On this journey, he participated in some of the most significant festivals in South America, such as Arcana in Peru, Monte Mapo in Chile, Universo Paralelo in Brazil, among others such as Respect, Pangea, Flores Festival, Earth Dance, and Hypno Dreams. That is when Cosmic Sound became one of the most respected DJs from Bolivia playing in Brazil. One year ago, he moved to Goiânia, Brazil. He shared the stage with the best artists on the planet, DJs such as Asterix, Zen Mechanics, Dixters, Michelle Adamson, Burning Noise, Tristan, Talamasca, and many more. It is my pleasure today to introduce Diego Mendez, aka Cosmic Sound. Diego, thank you so much for staying with us today. Please tell us, let's go from general to specific. What is an electronic party? What is a Psytrance Festival? 
Hi Fabi, hello. Thanks for inviting me to your program. So electronic party, it's a place when you're going to dance. When you're going to find yourself dancing, uh, you can go into a party, into the nature, or into the club, and dance for a lot of hours and connect with yourself dancing. So the biggest festivals in the world, in, in a parties is a different to the festival, right? One party is involved on 12 hours until 16 hours, maybe 24 hours for one party, one day. But the festivals, festivals is too much big because it involves too much days, maybe two days, three days, four days, six days, seven days. And you have a lot of stages there and you have a market and you have a places when you uh, make yoga and healing places. So this is the difference of the festival and parties. And the biggest festivals in the world, uh, they have a lot. In South America have uh, Arcana in Peru, uh, Monte Mapu in Chile, Air Dance in Argentina, uh, Universo Paralelo in Brazil, uh, Respect, uh, Samsara, Mundo de Oz, thing. They have a lot of lot of festivals all around the world. Right, I see. So since you're saying that uh, you spend more than one or two or three days and also you find different type of artists, right? If you say, if you see a market, then I am assuming that some of the uh, people that go there to show their art and also you find yeah. DJs that go there to show their music. Okay, great. So tell us, how did you get involved on in all this? How did you get to decide that this was going to be your life? <laughs> I'm involved with my friend Alejandro. He introduced me to the Cyclones world. And he said one day, hey, Diego, come with me. I'm going to play to one party. And that day I go to him and introduced me to the organizer of this this party. His name was Asher. He's, well, he was an Israeli guy. And he teach me a lot of this world. And I start to make parties with him and, and make the decorations with him. And from this day, I am making side trance. Now I, I am making music like uh, 90, 99 years playing around the South America. One day I fell in love with this music and this movement and, and I can go out. <laughs> okay, so then what is the music that is played at these festivals? Where are the genres inside of this type of music? Well, uh, the genres in those festivals. Inside of side trans music, you have a lot of styles. You have a chill out, you have a goa, you have a full on, you have side trance, you have high tech, you have psycho, you have dark trance. So in these festivals, the organizers make a lineup and and put the, all the styles in a sequence, you know. And so if you want, if you go to a party, you you hear the all of the styles of the of the inside of the side trance, right? I am talking about the progressive and then put uh, some full on and then put some some uh, side trance, then put some forest and going up until until uh, going to dark, side, dark trance in the night and go into um, a little bit of another style of, of side trance from the day. Né? I see. And um, tell us a little bit about, um, I mean, for the people that have never been or never really had the experience to be on a party like this, what is this music? What is the difference? Let's say you're saying right now that some music at the beginning, the DJs plays one kind of music and then later at night they play another. So what is the difference between that type of music in early in the morning or maybe later at night? The difference 
because in the day uh, you put uh, some uh, BPM more slowly, you know? Diego, BPM what does BPM, is BPM means? One beat, one beat is a, uh, is a the kick, right? One kick is one BPM. So, in the electronic music, we size from BPMs. So, uh, the, the Psytrance music starts in 128, 129 BPMs per second. So, in, oh. in, the, in, the, day, in the day, you put uh, music in the, in the 133 BPMs until 147, 148. Uh, the name of oh, the name of this size are uh, pro progressive, uh, progressive trance, full on, and pro dark. So until uh, six o'clock in the in the in the day, you are going a little more more dark, a little because it's is the night, you know. So they right. put it a progressive, a progressive dark, a uh, full on night, twilight. Uh, side trance, forest, which is right. a little bit more harder, is more hard, more speed, and they have um, a lot of more uh, psychedelic sounds, you know? I've read about you, and I know that you have two projects. Uh, the one that you travel with, which is uh, Cosmic Sound, right? Is your DJ, uh, your stage name. But also you have uh, Huai Hu Records. So please tell us about both of them. So, uh, in like a four years ago in Santa Cruz, where I was living there, uh, we started a project with my friend Cesar Aguayo, and I started thinking why we don't have uh, labor records there in Santa Cruz, because we have a lot of DJ and a lot of guys making an amazing music there, and we don't have a... Uh, a crew, you know, for make parties and starting producing these artists. So we think with with Cesar and, and say, hey man, we we make a, a, a label record and start to make parties here and let's do it. So there uh, we we find this work. We work a lot for uh, find this this name and we find it. The name is Kwai Hu. Kwai Hu, mm -hmm. uh, it's a amor mutuo in Spanish. It's a it's a it's a traditional ling, uh, it's a traditional ling language in, uh, from Santa Cruz. It's Chiquitano, and so mm -hmm. we started to make parties and we make uh, of the festivals there. We make the two amazing festivals, Prana Festival. The, the, we have two edi uh, two editions. And we make a Yin Yang Festival, okay, we make uh, one edition of this festival, four days of music, um, more than 45 artists invited to this festival, and that was how <laughs> how created uh, Huai Hu Records. And now we have a lot of artists all around the South America, and in Brazil, we have the most important artists here, they are working with us and they are believing in, in our dream and we are trying to make to make this quite this uh, this crew more bigger and more bigger and I see and I also noticed that every time there is a party or a festival all the graphic that is placed on social media it's it's very different it's very peculiar it's pretty artsy so um, it, does that have anything to do with the party, with the idea of it? Okay, every party they have a concept. In this concept, uh, you involve uh, art, uh, guys making uh, design art in web and making design art in the party. Uh, talking about the web. The guys they're producing their designs for the promotion of the of the of the party uh, for for web for Facebook or Instagram. There are a huge work, the biggest work that I see in the party too. When you go to the party, 
the, the stage, it's amazing. They are making a artwork, a hard artwork, because you now are seeing uh, or stages on 3D and, and and mapping and and visuals and and it's amazing because you are going to another planet when you go in to a party and see the tent because they put in a tent in amazing tents for the shadow for making shadow in the day in, in the night in, in, it's it's another planet you know okay so you told us about Huai Hu. Tell us about Cosmic Sound. When did you start it and how is it going for you? Cosmic Sound born in La Paz in 2002. With my best friend Alejandro, he starts to teach me. And starts to teach me and use the equipment. And then I had an idea of taking more seriously this uh, this profession, you know, then say to be a DJ. So, right. so uh, one day I start to make it more seriously and I start to play it more seriously in uh, in in a uh, in a places, in a discotheques, in a festivals, uh, in a little parties out of the, out of uh, the city, and now we are making. <laughs> that I love it. I am, I am playing 19 years. Like, let's dip in a little bit into your life. Let's think about a week, right? So I'm imagine during the weekdays, like Monday through maybe Thursday, Wednesday, you may not have too much activity. But okay, how's the weekend for a DJ? How do you have to manage your time? And what are the what are your responsibilities when you are booked? to play on a party or a festival? Well, my activities started on Friday, something, sometimes, sometimes Saturdays. But basically, I play in Sundays. Uh, my music is for for the day. So basically, I, I, I go out from house Saturday, three in the morning and take a car and airport and go to the party have some fun and and then come back and basically that's that's my way of life <laughs> right that's great and also how much time do you spend listening to music or finding new artists or putting your sets together how is the work there well, I take maybe three days or four days for every presentation. I um, I try to make a more perfectionist guy, uh, you know, uh, taking my music and hearing another artist. And so basically three or four days for every presentation is the, the time that I take for, for, for being my DJ set for making my DJ set. Right. Right, and then and, and how long does your set uh, last? How much time do you spend on stage? My DJ set, uh, it takes uh, one hour and 30 and one hour. This is the time that Between I play normally in the party. Yes, one hour and one hour and 30. Uh, one, one hour, hour and a half. And a half. And just for me being very curious, because I am very curious, um, in this one hour and a half, how many songs, how many different artists do you play? Well, uh, for me, my DJ said, I think I pick the, I pick some eight or nine artists, the best, uh, the, the artists that I love, that I, that I like. But we don't have the, the luck or the opportunity to see very many um, worldwide big artists coming here. So now that you are in Brazil, I know that you've been playing with some big artists. Uh, tell us about that experience. How was for you? Well, oh. it's amazing. <laughs> it's amazing <laughs> playing with the, with the artists there. You are seeing the always I dream to play them. 
man, it's amazing. Playing with Asterix, always I say Asterix and say, wow, man, I want to go and see this, this live act of this guy. And one day I am playing with him in the same stage. It's, it's amazing. And I am sure that is, that's the first one. You probably have many more to come. Diego or Cosmic Sound, we, I wanna know more about it, but we're gonna go to a cut really fast. People at home, do not go anywhere. We'll be right back with the last question for Cosmic Sound. Stay connected. Welcome back everyone. And we are here with the last question for Diego or Cosmic Sound, I like to call him better. Well, Diego, listen, I know that we talk about how the parties are made and all the concept and all the beautiful things that you um, that you leave when you go to these festivals and all the be beautiful experiences that you have as a DJ. But also a DJ, it's a regular profession. It's like any other. And um, I want to know, saying that, what are the biggest challenges and also what are the biggest rewards that you have with this profession or having this lifestyle? Well, the biggest challenge now, I am gonna play in the biggest festivals of the planet and, and bring my music uh, to all these festivals and, and bring the name of Bolivia as high as possible. I want to everyone know uh, where I am come from and the reward that I have, Fabi, you don't have an idea. The smiles that I see when I play, play it's amazing. It's look, maybe 4,000 or 5,000 or smiles, <laughs> a smile and happiness and joy in the music. Uh, sometimes when I come home and see my Facebook and my Instagram, I. I received the feedbacks there you're never see it. I received messages from people, man, you're making an amazing work and you changed my life and blah, blah, blah. So <laughs> it's amazing. It's a, for me, it's so amazing. So Diego, let me say one thing. When you left Bolivia, just to have an idea or about how this is growing, when you left Bolivia, how many Instagram followers did you have? When I go out from Bolivia, I have like uh, 300 Instagrams in Instagram and maybe 1,000 friends in Facebook. Now and I what got, are the uh, numbers today? Now I have almost 3,000 uh, guys in Instagram and 5,000 guys and uh, friends in Facebook and my SoundCloud had a 2,000 place in five months. That is uh, amazing from from a Citron <laughs> artist in Bolivia, you know? <laughs> it's, right. It's too much. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's so great. I am ex so excited for you. I really hope that soon you are going to other continents and always keeping high the name of Bolivia. Cosmic Sound, thank you so much for sharing this time with us. I'm going to leave you a little time for you to uh, say hello to the audience and also to share your information on social media so they can check your work and follow you. Go ahead. So thank you, Fabi. Thank you, everybody from Bolivia. Hi from here. Uh, so see you soon. And thank for inviting me to the pro to this show. Follow me on Instagram and it's Cosmic Sound and Facebook Cosmic Sound too and YouTube Cosmic Sound and and SoundCloud everywhere. I am Cosmic Sound from Bolivia. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Cosmic Sound. Please always be well, and I hope a lot of, lot of, lot of successful parties, and I hope you keep going on your journey. Mwah. Until next time with me. Goodbye. Bye, thank you. Bye-bye. If you want to know more about Cosmic Sound, you can check his work on the social media that is displayed on the screen. 
Let's not talk anymore and let's not waste any more time. I want to see Cosmic Sound in action. We are going to leave you with a video where he is playing at a festival in Brazil. I will not go before telling you that if you know somebody that's doing a, something different in the world or is making a change for themselves or for their community, please let me know. Write me to conectadosbolivia24 at gmail.com. I'll be glad to connect with you. For now, I'll leave you with DJ Set of Cosmic Sound and I'll see you in seven days. Until next time with me.